Roseburg. Today's Wednesday, October 13th, and you're watching Living Umpqua. tuning in again for another week of Living Umpqua and our weekly updates around Roseburg and Southern Oregon. My name is Gabe Harrell and I'm so glad you joined us this week for our weekly updates, uh, events, news, and um, just things going on in the community around us. Last week, searchers recovered the body of Branda Hoyle. Uh, Branda Hoyle disappeared on September 25th at an outing with family members when she walked away from the group and didn't return. Uh, the Douglas County Medical Examiner's Office is investigating the death, uh, but the Sheriff's Office at this time said there's no indications of foul play. It's believed that exposure to the elements played the rar largest role uh, in her death. And I know there was Quite a few people that went out and looked for her. Very unfortunate what happened. Uh, so our prayers go out to her family and her friends experiencing her loss right now. This Saturday, the Roseburg VA Clinic will be holding its final influenza clinic. They're going to be using a drive through setup like they've been doing for the last several weeks. For anyone that's in the VA healthcare system, make sure to get to that clinic if you've missed it so far and been meaning to go. This Saturday will be the last opportunity for that drive through clinic uh, for your free flu shot. So a great time to get through um, while everyone is practicing safe social distancing and get your flu shot for the season if you haven't yet. Umpqua Health's mobile outreach team will be starting the Comfort Drive beginning Monday. Community members can participate by donating new and packaged items for all genders ages 15 and older. Needs include socks, underwear, bras, undershirts, camisoles, and long underwear. Collection bins will be posted at Umpqua Health Newton Creek Clinic on Northeast Stephen Street and at a Sportsman's Warehouse on Northwest Stewart Parkway. The effort will continue through October 31st. Great program to get those in need uh, some warm clothing for the season coming up. If you're out there driving on the highways, because in Oregon, of course, especially in Southern Oregon, we have no rules on when we go on vacation, right? <laughs> we'll vacation when we see fit. Uh, and we like uh, the winter weather around here. So at least uh, me and my family do. So if you're out there on vacation, just be aware that crews are out there. Uh, they're busy with suppression repair work on the rough patch complex and the Jack fire. Uh, an update from the Rocky Mountain Incident Management Team. Uh, the blue team said, as conditions allow, workers are completing an average of eight to 10 miles of repair work daily. Crews are canvassing the fire area and are uh, retrieving equipment from work, uh, suppression work. There's been an influx of personnel this week as large equipment drivers, operators, and pretty much contractors and anyone else that's gonna be needed out there uh, for suppression efforts and repair efforts. Uh, the cooler temperatures and moisture will continue uh, into next week, so they say. Uh, and with more precipitation arriving this Sunday, loaded dump trucks will be hauling chips from the fire area to glide. And so you should expect heavier traffic on Highway 138. The rough patch complex remains 74% contained. And as always, thank you, firefighters. Okay, hunters, as you participate in hunting this season, 
uh, Oregon Forestry, Douglas Forest Patrol has been asking that uh, even though extreme fire conditions have ended, uh, they are asking everyone to be very careful with the fires that they do start as we've experienced some more moist temperatures and precipitation um you know we might get brave and forget that under some of that moistness is uh you know an entire summer's worth of drought uh and and dry brush so as we all know the right thing to do just continue doing it make sure our fires are put out before we're moving on uh make sure they're put out as we go to bed at night uh, and we have things around us in case they get out of hand uh, to get those fires back under control. All right, an exciting event coming to the Roseburg Public Library. They invite the entire community to read Oregon author Eileen Garvin's debut novel, The Music of Bees, before her virtual visit on Thursday, December 2nd. The Music of Bees follows three grieving strangers brought together at a honeybee farm in rural Oregon. Garvin resides in Hood River with her husband, uh, cat and honeybees. She has released one other book, a memoir about growing up with her sister. Copies of the book are available through the library. Place holds on a physical copy of the book by logging into the library's online catalog at roseburg.bblonix.com. I'll put that link down below, of course, with a 14 digit Roseburg Public Library card number. Default password is the phone number used to register the account. The Music of Bees also is available as an electronic book and audiobook <clears throat> through the OverDrive and Cloud Library Digital Platforms. Garvin's virtual visit will be live streamed at facebook.com slash Roseburg Library on December 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Uh, and a Facebook account is not required. I will put that link down below for everyone. How exciting is that? A local author doing a reading on one of her books, kind of loosely based on the area. So it should be pretty exciting. I know I'm gonna do my best to participate and make sure I'm there. Kind of some sad news, the Steamboat Inn, famous for fly fishing on the Umpqua River, is for sale uh, on the market for 3.75 million. Uh, now the owners, Melinda and Travis Woodward, say they are in no hurry to sell their quote unquote bucket list destination. Um, it is renowned for world-class fly fishing, as we all know. Challenges for rafters and kayakers. I have been one of those kayakers, of course, <laughs> growing up in the area. Uh, and waterfall chasing. Since the main lodge opened in 57, President Jimmy Carter and famous chefs and winemakers have stayed there. It's also been the picturesque setting for weddings, reunions, retreats and meetings and how beautiful it is out there. Uh, very sad to see the owners moving on. They had such a wonderful vision for that place, kept the tradition alive, but I'm sure that the next buyer coming in will do the same. So onwards and upwards for the former owners and exciting to whoever the new owners will be, welcome them in, uh, invite them and welcome them to the community and help them keep that tradition alive out there at the Steamboat Inn. That is it for your local updates this week. Stay tuned for the Real Estate Minute. Alright y'all, thank you for hanging around for this week's Real Estate Minute. If you were with me last week, you heard me mention a program that I was going to be looking more into that offered people the opportunity to buy a new home before selling their own home uh, and took away the financial concerns that comes with that. Well, I went ahead and was certified in this last week. I'm happy to tell you I am now a NOC certified agent that's not K-N-O-C-K, just like knocking at the door. And I think this is a very exciting program. Right now, my area, the closest town that's participating is Springfield, but they are expanding every day. And I'm hoping Douglas County is, is, is next and, and very soon. And here's why. With Knock Home Swap, 
You get the convenience, certainty, and cost savings buying. The new home you want first, and then selling your own home. With Knock Home Swap, you skip the stress and uncertainty buying and selling a house the old way. I'll tell you why that's a big deal. Most folks that are looking to take advantage of this seller's market and really capitalize on the equity in their homes are scared to do so because then they have to go find a home in this market. So if you have the opportunity to get qualified for the loan, put it in an offer on the new house, actually move into the new ha home and only have to worry about your new home mortgage payments for six months while you use some of the equity in your own ho old home to clean it up, do any repairs that are needed, stage it for selling, sell it at top dollar within six months. Pretty doable, right? I thought so and that's why I signed up for this program. The number one objection I get from folks that want to sell and really want to capitalize on the seller's market is, but then I have to find a home. And I, I get it. I understand it. It's tough. It's tough sledding out there if you're buying. You feel like you won the lottery if your offer over asking price gets accepted. That's the kind of seller's market that we're in. So the opportunity to buy first and have six months to get rid of the old home and keep whatever profit you make and use even use some of that equity to do some repairs and stage the home to make sure you get top dollar. Wow, you can't beat that. That's why I became a Knox certified agent. Check out this video. Introducing the Knock Home Swap, a new way to buy a house before selling your old one. Here's how it works. First, we get you approved for a new home loan. That way you can start making stronger offers on the houses you love. We'll even lend you the down payment on your new home so you can buy right away without worrying about your equity being tied up in your old house. Once you've bought your new home, we advance you up to six months of mortgage payments on the old house so you never have to pay two mortgages at the same time. Finally, we offer you up to $25,000 in prepaid home prep funds so you can sell your house for top dollar. And with a dedicated support team, we're there every step of the way to make sure your house sells as quickly as possible. We've spent a lot of time improving the real estate experience to give you more certainty, convenience, and cost savings. And we think that makes our home swap the best possible way to buy and sell a home. Find out more from your Knox certified agent today. Again, a fantastic program, a uh, way to stay ahead of the curve and really figure out what it is that people need and what they're gonna find useful. So I'm excited to be a part of it. If you're interested at all in this program, like always, just shoot me an email, umqua at kw.com, or you can even uh, call me at the number listed below. That does it for this week, everyone. Thank you for tuning in once again. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like more content like this. I would be honored if you join. We'll see you next week on Living Up Quad.